What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade here. In today's video, we are finally doing a full unboxing and review of the Trezor Safe 3, the brand new crypto hardware wallet with a lot of new security updates and features. Stay tuned, you do not wanna miss this one. All right, guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I just got my new Trezor Safe 3. This is now the new entry level crypto hardware wallet in the Trezor lineup. They are, as of shooting this, no longer offering the Trezor one, which was going for about $69 on the website. It's no longer there. So it's between the Trezor Safe 3 and now the Trezor Model T. And I'll be doing a follow-up video of the new Trezor Safe 3 here and the Trezor Model T. But before we get into unboxing this, this is how I received it in the mail. So it looks like they do have the official Trezor tape. And this, of course, is just the protective packaging for the box. So just wanted to show you exactly how I received it and how you'll probably receive it once you order it with the links down below in the description. And let's go ahead and take a look and review this. Let's also review the form factor, the design, and also look at any additional coin support as well as the price and then of course any discounts and I will see you in a follow-up video with the other details of it once I've actually started using it and activating it. But since it's brand new, let's bust it open and take a look. So first impressions, the box, uh, Welcome to the Safe Family by Trezor. The, the box is actually very high quality and the reason I make a deal about that is because if they have a nice presentation, then it's likely that they didn't cut corners anywhere else. So you open it up, it says crypto security made easy. Very nice. What's interesting here is it gives you an actual, they give you an actual notebook, which I thought is kind of cool. So you get an actual ruled notebook, comes with a Trezor pen, well, that's kind of cool. And then now you get to the actual Trezor Safe 3 device itself. Now, just looking at the box, it looks obviously like the same shape as the original Trezor 1. Pretty iconic shape, and I don't know if it's gonna be the same size. We're about to find out in a second. Looking at it here, it looks like they've updated a lot of the packaging and sort of the messaging, if you will. Just to give you a quick overview, the big two security updates on this new device are it now has a brand new EAL6 plus secure element chip. And if you know Trezor before, previously doesn't have any on any of their devices a security element chip. So they've upped the security on the device as well as upgraded coin support, which we'll get to in just a minute here. So let me go ahead and, and open this here. So they have a tearaway tape here, security seal. Awesome, okay, so. We'll take a look at the actual device here in just a second. But what we have here is your basic getting started guide. It's gonna come obviously with some stickers and some promotions, how to set up the device, download the bridge and the desktop app on the Trezor website. And it comes with two security seed phrase sheets. Now it does look like on this device, it just initiates a 12 word security seed phrase as opposed to an 18 or a 24. I'm sure that you'll have an optional way to do a 24 word recovery seed phrase and kind of use both if you really want to. The other security update that they made to this is it does allow you on this device to do a custom pass phrase on top of your recovery seed phrase. That's a big deal because if someone does get a hold of your recovery seed phrase for any reason, they're also gonna need to know your password in order to unlock it to transfer any crypto away. So that's pretty neat. They didn't have that on the Trezor 1. They do have it on the Trezor Model T, but this is brand new for the entry level. Before I get to the actual device, uh, looks like we're have, we have a standard uh, USB-C to USB-C. Uh, it looks like it's a 12 inch cable. Definitely upgrade in the quality and the, the braiding of the actual cable here. The Trezor 1 one used to be only like three to four, maybe six inches. But when we take a look at this actual device, it actually actually is a little bit bigger than the footprint of the Trezor Model 1, but as I turn it to the side, it's a lot thicker. So it's a lot more robust. Now, it looks like they sent me the silver one, and you can get it in a couple of different colors. You can get black on the back, you can get silver, you can get gold, you can get rose gold, and there's a couple other ones as well, but it looks like they sent me a silver one. You obviously have the Trezor logo here. You have two mechanical buttons. This does use a USB, as you can see, a USB device. 
uh, to use the Trezor Suite, which is a desktop app. I believe you can also use the web app, but Trezor had some issues with people setting up fake Trezor websites and people entering in their security seed phrase and losing their funds. So in order to control this process, they moved everything to a Trezor suite. It became a lot more secure, a lot more user-friendly, and I actually liked the change that they made. But as far as the overall design, this is extremely light, but it still feels more durable than the Trezor one, which is really just like a cheap plastic. And they still have the Trezor tape here over like they do on all their devices, covering the actual USB-C port. And as you can see, that is the port for the USB-C. You can peel off the rest of the security tape. Pushing the, the actual buttons, it's pretty interesting here. It's really very small. Like it's very, I, I don't know, I'd say it's maybe two inches by one and a half inch. I mean, but it, it looks like they've upgraded the materials and the actual quality. My first impression is this is just a very good and robust update from the Trezor Model 1 as an entry level device. Now that we talked about the security updates, which is a brand new secure element chip of an EAL 6 Plus and a password protect for your recovery seed phrase, which is very welcome. Let's talk about the new coin support that you're getting with this, say, versus the Trezor Model 1 or the Trezor Model T. And we'll do a full breakdown of this versus the Trezor Model T in a future video, but just to give you an example, this is gonna cover third-party wallets now. So you're gonna get My Ether Wallet, Electrum Wallet, MetaMask Wallet. There's a lot of different third-party wallet integrations and all of the coins staking, delegating, and features of those wallets will work directly with this within the Trezor Suite application for managing your crypto, as well as it does have a lot of native coin support within the Trezor suite. So obviously your major blockchains, your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, all ERC20 tokens. The one thing I will say that this doesn't have as I check their website is they do not have the coin support on the Trezor Safe 3. This one for, for example, like the Solana blockchain, uh, the BSC blockchain, any coins from some of these legacy ones like Atom. It does have blockchain support for Avalanche, and I'm not sure why they chose that one. Maybe they're still working on it, but there's gonna be a degree of coin support from this versus the Trezor Model T, obviously, because they're two different tiers and, and sizes of wallets. Needless to say, this does have an upgraded coin support from the Trezor Model 1. So if you have a Trezor 1, it's probably a good upgrade for you with the added security features as well as the upgraded coin support. Now, let's talk about an end on the price. Again, I'm gonna give you the full MSRP or retail price on this. Please also check the links down below in the description. It helps not only the channel out if you decide to do it, but it also gives you the best possible deal on any Trezor device whatsoever at any time you're watching this. Especially, I'm filming this in November of 2023. Check it out for Black Friday. There's gonna be special deals linked down below and leave it at that and make sure that you're always getting the best deal. With that out of the way, the full retail price that they're advertising this for is $79. Now, this right off the bat without even using it, I know is gonna be one of the best values that you can get for under $100 in a cryptocurrency hardware wallet. It's got a black and white OLED monochromatic screen. It has the mechanical buttons. It has the USB-C port. It has all of the features that people love about Trezor, but they added the security and they've added coin support at a very competitive and affordable price point. Now, as far as this versus Trezor 1, Trezor T, we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll do that in a future video, but this is going to be a very competitive offering in the likes of, say, like key card wallets like Arculus or Tangem or things like that, uh, especially because it does have a screen and it does have some of those added security features with it. I'm very, very interested in obviously setting this up, trying it and using it myself and give you my feedback when I film some future videos of this versus Trezor Model T and this versus say the SafePal One, but also comment down below. Let me know which other wallets you want me to compare this to uh, to give you a better idea after I do a full in-depth of setting this up, playing with it and tell you what my real user experience is, you know, how easy it is to use, if I like it, if I don't like it. But first impressions, Trezor's obviously a great brand. I'm very excited to try this out. And as far as first impressions, I mean, this gives me an A+. I mean, I don't expect anything less from Trezor. They, they've kind of come through on, on really good quality and really good user experiences in the past. And the Trezor suite is really awesome to use. Again, they didn't go as far as creating a wireless device. I, I think that is something that's in development, whether it be air gapped or wireless or Bluetooth or et cetera. But as far as a full refresh and a, just a pure upgrade across the board from a Trezor Model 1, this is a huge win. And it, to me, it seems like this is actually pretty close 
Toyota Trezor Model T, but I'll get back to you in the next following video of my full breakdown and comparison of this versus the Trezor Model T, but this is a very compelling upgrade. Uh, let me know, comment down below, let me know your impressions, let me know if you guys want this device, if this is something that you're looking at, and also again, comment below on other wallets you want me to compare this to, and I will see you guys in the next video in the top right corner here, where I do a full unboxing and review of the Ella Pal Titan II. See you guys in that video now, Crypto Renegade out.